What is a decimal? What is a decimal number? Take a moment to think about it. A decimal number is a number that contains a decimal point and it's based on the number 10, tenth parts, and powers of 10. For example, you might see the price of a jar of peanut butter written as a decimal. You might see numbers on a number line between two whole numbers as decimals. Or you might see it on a, on a ruler or a tape measure. These are just a few examples of where decimals can occur. Where do we see decimals being used? Well, we see them all over the place. Someone's time in a race is measured in minutes and or seconds. Usually shorter distances of sprints are measured in seconds, whereas longer distances bring in the minute component. And those times contain decimals. In baseball, batting averages are decimals. You'll always see someone's batting average as zero point and then some number. So this example, Miguel Cabrera has a batting average of 0.387. Music stations also show the name of the station that contains a radio frequency in decimals. So this radio station is accessed through radio frequency 92.3. Um, and then also with money, we use decimals to show dollars and change. In this diagram, we have $6.91. Why do we need decimals? Well, decimals are used in situations when more precision is needed. For instance, when two people cross the finish line, someone will win by a fraction of a second, and we show those fractions as decimals. Similarly, when spending money, many things are not worth an exact dollar amount. We saw on an earlier slide that the cost of a jar of peanut butter was $2.99. Let's take a look at decimals on a number line. This, this interactive picture will take you to the website Math is Fun, and they have a number line that you can zoom in and out of. The easiest way to zoom and scroll is to actually use the arrow keys on your keyboard. So if I press the up arrow, you can see that it's zooming in and it's being centered in between five and six. So here we can see between five and six, we have 5.1, or five and one tenth, five and two tenths. And if we keep pressing the up arrow, it's how we continue to zoom in, and then they're gonna start showing hundredths that are in between the tenths. So to zoom in is the up arrow, and to zoom out is the down arrow. You can also press reset at any time. Our place value chart is almost like a mirror image with a line between the ones place and the decimal point. Notice that to the left, we have the tens column, and then over to the right of the decimal point, we have the tenths column. If I go out to the left one more, I have the hundreds column and it's corresponding value to the right is the hundredths column. And similarly, thousands column and thousandths column. So everything to the left ends in an S, whereas everything to the right ends in a THS. On this slide, we have a place value chart, and a printable version of this chart can be found under Teacher Resources in Fifth Grade Math Decimal Concepts. This chart can be used to practice identifying place values of digits that are decimals. And if needed, this chart can be used to practice reading and writing decimal numbers in standard word and expanded form.